I gender go chat, it's Dallas. I uh, apologize for my video being late again because yesterday I had to get some orientation for a queer youth conference that I'm volunteering for and then I went and saw some of my friend's production of Urine Town, which is excellent, but meant that I didn't get home to it was already Sunday, not Saturday, when I'm supposed to go through posting. But regardless, I want I was interested in doing a video for this topic, and I promised a couple of friends of mine that I would do it. So I'm going to hopefully uh, keep in his mind that I'm posting on his day. So our topic this week is. Do you think trans and gender queer people should be lumped into the LGBTQ acronym? Have you found that your interactions explaining your gender identity with other people under this LGBTQ umbrella have been positive or negative? Do you feel more understood by them in general than straight individuals? Um, so... This is just my opinion, of course, and I hope that if I say anything to upset anyone, they will understand that I did not have that intention. But, uh, I have, my main thing with this question is that I actually have a problem with the wording. I don't really like the way that it says, uh, do you think trans and gender people should be lumped? into the LGBTQ acronym, just because I feel like by using the word lumped, you're already assuming that they should be separate things and not included in the acronym, which I understand that um, gender identity is different than sexual orientation, but it's my opinion that they should be together as a greater community with that understanding that there are different aspects to the community and different factions or whatever. Um, cause yeah, I just think that saying lumped automatically puts this idea into it that, oh, well, if you're lumping them together, they're not meant to be together. You're just doing it. Yeah, in my opinion, it should be together because like some other people have been saying, you have a greater number of people to fight certain battles. Um, now, it's interesting because I actually, uh, I'm friends with the co-chairs of the Pride group at my university. Um, not the one that I'm currently at, but the one that I went to, I went to go back to. It's a long story. Um, but they're currently updating some documents, and they asked me my opinion about whether or not they should just, they should say queer, or if they should say queer and trans to describe um, the group of people that they're in terms of services and that. So, interesting because what I've seen mostly in my interactions with different groups and government funded agencies and such is that most often they're using queer and trans which I can understand in terms of there are trans people who are straight identified who don't really view themselves as fitting into any other part of queer identity, and they just happen to be trans, and often those people are also the ones that want to live stealth. Um, but that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, so for those people, it makes sense for it to be a separate category of queer and trans, and most fit, people fit into the trans part. But for me, I actually feel like whenever I see queer and trans, um, 
I find it a little bit upsetting, to be honest, just because I feel like not taking me even, like, I'm already in this category that's different from greater society, and then that's just putting me into another, like, oh, well, you're different from this as well. So yeah, it's complicated. I feel like the main reason why I feel like trans and gender queer issues should be part of the queer community is because I am queer in other ways, and that kind of affects the way that I re relate to the community and want to be a part of it and included in it, and I want my gender to be recognized and part of that community. Does that make sense? Um, and so, yeah, I, I think they should be together, um, I think gender issues should be part of the, um, LGBT, the alphabet soup, uh, for that reason, with the understanding that gender identity and sexual orientation are different, but that they have a lot in common in terms of souls and support needed. Now, for the other part of the question that was asking about um, my interactions explaining my gender identity to people that are part of the LGBTQ community um, versus those who are not. I think that explaining my identity to um, LGBTQ people probably has been more positive for the most part. I feel more comfortable coming out to those people in the first place than I do people who are not. Um, so. I've done it a lot more, so it's hard to directly compare, because there's a lot of people that I just don't mention it to, and I let them assume what they assume, and even if they're friends of mine, I let them assume what they assume. And if they ask me, I tell them, but I just find it easier coming out to LGBTQ people, because often they already have an understanding of what it means to be trans, and if they don't, they at least are coming from this point of view of having something different about them that, in my experience, makes them have an easier time understanding gender dynamics. Uh, so, um, I mean, I do have several cis heteronormative friends that are amazing and they get my pronouns right and they are engaging and lovely and that's amazing but I think a big part of it too is that I find it easier to talk about trans issues um, and like theory and stuff with people that are part of the LGBT LGBTQ community and I feel like it's more engaging for them as well. Um, just as a general experience, not something hard and fast and true. But, yeah, I mean, if I could actively surround myself with LGBTQ people all the time, I'd probably do it even with the extra drama that cannot be done with them in. Um, because I think there are some great allies out there in non-LGBTQ communities, but there's a lot more explaining that often has to do, go on. Because I feel like part of the thing too is that often, not all the time, but people that are of the LGB part have maybe thought about gender a bit more, not always, but a bit more than your average 
straight person. Just in terms of people, are, because of the way that people like to link gender and sexuality together as being um, almost the same thing a lot of times, they've been forced to maybe think about um, how having a non-heterosexual identity affects their gender identity. So yeah, I do think that the like, two communities have a lot to offer each other and that it's important that they at least stand in solidarity and hopefully togetherness. And for me, I found it a lot easier to explain my identity to people of the LGBT community. So yeah, that's me. I hope everyone has a great week. I apologize for being late again. And um, yeah, great topic. And I, it was really interesting seeing all the varied responses from people. So thanks. See you later.